my name is Nathan here and you're watching Robot Masters. So in front of me, I got the Roblox S6 rocking a cool white, cool white. And I got the LG Core Zero R9 rocking a ruby red or a hot red, whatever you like to call it. So let me know in the comments below which is your favorite robot. Do you like the Roblox or do you like the LG? Um, the Roblox is a more popular robot. Everyone knows about Roblox and they really like the design and it's a very efficient premium. Well, not so much as the LG. Not so many people know about it and they're still curious on how well this little guy can clean. I'm going to do a bunch of tests and this little guy has a couple of tricks up his sleeve so I'll go ahead and test that as well. But for this video, let's go over something that I've always wanted to test. How well does the edge clean do on these robots. I know that the Roblox has a side brush. Check it out right there. See that guy? This is a new included side brush over the Roblox S50. And this guy, look at this. No side brush. This actually relies on the suction power. So what it does is it gets right up against the baseboard with its cleaner and it applies full suction power. I want to see how well this does. Um, spoiler alert, I actually changed my title to Optimize and Not Optimize. So stay for the whole video and you'll see why I labeled my video called Optimize versus Not Optimize. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Well, the Imperial Cinnamon Red Hots and we got the Skittles. And we're just going to put it along the wall and along here. Okay, drum roll please. The first robot we got is the LG Quad Zero R9. Let's see how well this hot little red robot can do. I decided to zone off this section over here. I just want the robot to focus on the edge cleaning and I'm just gonna have it do edge clean only. That's one of the modes that the robot has. Really cool mode that you can select between zigzag and edge clean. All right, let's get started. So guys, did you guys catch that? Yes, the LG Quad Zero ramps up its suction power to try to get the bits and debris from the edges. Unfortunately, the Skittles was a little too much. It didn't have enough suction or maybe the Skittles were too close along the doorway. I don't know, but I'm going to also try this test with powder. Um, this is one of the flaws. Is I think this LG really does need a side brush because just relying on suction alone won't be able to get these large Debris, it might do well on like dirt. Well, did you hear that? Did you hear the LG ramp up its vacuum motor pretty high? Well, that's uh, what 130,000 RPMs of suction power. It's pretty impressive. It was able to get some of those red hots down in the corner there. But unfortunately, the LG could benefit from a side brush because it missed a lot of the Imperials and it does try to get its extractors close to the edge but you know it's still missing a bunch. Also when the LG does that it does scrape up the walls a little bit. So I do like the LG and in my testing I do try to showcase the robot's pros and cons and do you remember what I said in the title? Optimized versus not optimized? Well here's the example of the robot not being very well optimized. Um, it did miss a lot along the edges and the navigation routines could use some work, especially on the cleaning algorithms. Uh, I have noticed that sometimes it gets easily confused, kind of like what the rumors do. I hope that they can improve the navigation. Don't fret guys, I do do a lot of testings and I'm gonna do powder tests. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. I was gonna do powdered sugar, but I felt that was gonna to be too sticky and messy. So I'm looking into getting some colored sand. 
And I got a bunch of robots I could do head-to-head -head challenges with, with the Roblox S6, which I'm doing in this video. I also got the S5. I could also do the Roombas. I also have the Lambot A1. Did you guys forget about that little guy? Yes, I still have that guy. I also might be getting another Nito. I don't know yet. I might get the bot back 80. I do like the older design of the Nitos. So, are you guys still awake? Well, let me know down in the comments if you guys own one robot or if you guys have multiple robots. Me, personally, I have several robots, as you may know. I'm kind of like an avid collector. So, when I do a full house cleaning, I actually have the robots do different areas of my house. So, for example, I let the Roomba S9 and i7 do my carpets. I let the LG Core Zero R9 do some of my hardwood floors. I also let the Roblox S6 do the hardwood floors. I kind of determine what's the strength and weaknesses of these robots. Some do great on carpets, some do great on hardwood floors, some do better on big bits and pieces, like the i7 can chew up literally anything. Uh, the LG Core Zero is great for like finer particles, like dust and powder. What's going on LG? Looks like you turned off your vacuum motor and you look a little lost there trying to go back to your charger. It did pick up some additional Imperials but it wasn't able to get in its dustbin because the vacuum motor shut off. Okay so here's where I suspect that most of the Skittles and Red Hots are in its extractor housing not in a dustbin because towards the end of the cleanup the LG decided to shut off its vacuum motor and still run its extractors and it went along the edge and picked up some of the Imperials. I do like the LG design the ex extractor bar to remove easily. Doesn't take much effort and see that guys? There's a bunch of Imperials and one Skittle down in the extractor housing. Now, if you watched my Lucky Charms challenge with the LG, it did get caught and stopped the extractors but this time the robot was able to complete the entire cleaning run. So here are the results. It looks like it picked up four red hots in its dustbin. None of the Skittles though. And most of the Skittles and red hots were in its extractor housing. Okay, we got the Roblox S6, the optimized vacuum cleaner. You will see why in just a few minutes. And it has a new side brush that's supposed to be improved over the S50. So if you like these types of videos, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name's Nathan, and you can clearly see I do a lot of cool robot vacuum reviews, head-to-heads, challenges, unboxings, you name it, I do everything. And it looks like this Roblox S6 is showing up the LG, no problem, has a little bit of scatter, but due to its impressive navigation algorithms, it's able to do a perimeter sweep first, and then it fills in that area with a back and forth cleaning pattern. So if someone came up to me and asked, hey uh, Nathan, so what kind of robot vacuum should you get? I always tell them, get a Roborock because it's a good vacuum to start with. It's very efficient, it's smart, it rarely gets stuck, it always goes back to its charger, it also does a decent job cleaning. Now, if you have extra money to spend, a Roomba is also good. I like the design of the Roomba, they're very reliable cleaners as well. Also, the parts are available and they have top notch customer support, whereas the Roblox, it's a little bit harder to get parts, but you can still get parts for these guys. I did have the Roblox S50 and my LiDAR sensor went out on it, but I was able to quickly Google search a part for the LiDAR sensor and get a new one replaced. Now, here's a question I get also. What is the easiest robot vacuum to use? Um, both robot vacuums do require setup, and they both have the capability of pairing up to your smartphone, but 
Once they're all set up, I would say that the Roomba is the easiest to use because how you start a Roomba is you just select the big clean button on the app and then you can just tell it what room to go. It's by names, not by having to go through a map and look at the picture. It's a lot easier just to associate a room with the label like kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, instead of having to scroll through a map and figure out where the bedroom or kitchen is. So for the majority of people, I think it's easier to do it that way. But I'm more of a tech person, so I like to look at a map. So I would go for the Roblox S6. But for like someone like my grandma, I would tell her to go with the Roomba. Also, the Roomba allows Alexa support. You could tell Alexa to go to a specific area to clean. This is something that only the Roombas have. There's no other robot vacuum that has this type of support. Okay, looks like the S6 is done with its perimeter sweep and it's going to pick up the last bit of the Imperials by doing a back and forth cleaning pattern. So guys, did you hear about Roblox announcing a new robot vacuum? Yes, it's called the Roblox S5 Max. Apparently it has 3 hours of battery life and also for the mopping feature, the water is controlled electronically by a pump. So now you can precisely control how much water you want to put down on your delicate hardwood floors. So let me know down in the comments if you guys do own a Roblox and use the mopping feature, how well it works. Me personally, I've never really used the mopping feature. Uh, I do own a Bravo M6 and I also own a iLife W400, which are dedicated mopping robots. Um, so let me analyze the mopping feature on the Roblox. Uh, for the S50, I believe there was no dedicated mopping cleaning powder. It just kind of did a vacuum cleaning powder, which isn't ideal because for mopping, you really want to go back and forth on the same area multiple times to help remove the stubborn dirt and grime. And also I felt like the Roblox mopping feature was an afterthought, it kind of dragged the mopping pad behind the robot, so it really wasn't really mopping, it was kind of spreading dirt around. But you know, let me know if you guys actually used the feature, if this actually worked well for you guys. I know on the Roblox S Max, they claim it has a new dedicated mopping feature, also it has the ability to recognize carpet, so it will not mop your carpet. This was something that the S5 didn't have, and I believe the S6 doesn't have this feature as well, but correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so it looks like the S6 is almost done. Let's talk about one more robot before we check and see how much this little guy picked up. Let's talk about the Narwhal Robotics. I can't say Narwhal. It's a, basically a new robot vacuum slash mopping combo, which has self-cleaning pads. So if you guys looked into that robot, let me know what you guys think of it. I'm actually really intrigued because it's one of the first mopping robots that has self-cleaning pads. So what it does is once the pads are dirty, the robot can detect that. It goes back to its docking station, rinses out the pads, and also applies new cleaning solution. Well, that looks pretty amazing, and the S6 is done. Okay, what do you guys think? Looks like I don't see any Imperial Reds, and there's no more Skittles. Hmm, wonder where they all went. Looks like this new improved side brush on the S6 did a really good job. And look, the flooring is clean as well. Okay, let's see how much the Roblox S6 picked up. The side brush really did a good job getting the debris away from the walls and then it finished up with its cleaning pattern. And look at that folks, it was able to pick up a bunch of the Imperials and a bunch of the Skittles. So the Roblox looks like it did a really good job. Let's just see if there's any in the extractor housing. And it looks like it's fairly clean. There's no bits kind of straying down in there, unlike the LGs. Both vacuums were set to its highest power setting. It looks like the S6 picked up 65 Red Hots and 10 Skittles. 100% pickup. Good job, S6, and have a great rest of your day, and see you guys next time.